Hey, we back again, man. Clayton English, all my English majors, you know what it is. We're the English majors headquarters right here in the A. And hey, come on, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to everybody making this thing work behind the scenes, man. But yeah, yeah, you see, you already see, I rely on these people. I, I, they, they my crutch. I'm out here depending on them. Matter of fact, I need a tissue. No, I'm bullshit. But look, here we go, man. English majors, whole nother episode, man. And what's this episode, man? Everybody eats. Everybody eats, B. Yeah. We talking one of my favorite topics, food. You know what I'm saying? I identify as a fat person. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm fat on the inside, for real. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My liver fatty than a motherfucker. Like, no. <laughs> I'm like a gourmet duck on the inside. Listen, what I'm saying is we talking about food, where it's going, what's changed, what's different. Um, yeah, man, I, I can talk about this. Everything I talk about, I got to have some expertise. I was on the show, Netflix, cooked with cannabis. Yeah, I ate all type of futuristic food and weed food. So you know what it is. We pull that up. Go go run that. I don't know if I get residuals from Netflix, but let's see. <laughs> all right, let's get to it, man. Everybody eats. Come on, English majors. Everybody eats. It's how you eating, what you eating. That's what we got to figure out, man. Cause it's, it's, it's hard. First of all, let, let's, let's see where we got fast food. The most dangerous food. It's called fast food cause you finna die fast. <laughs> if you keep eating that shit, man. Who they got up there? What you put up here, Jeff? Domino's? Domino's say they ain't a pizza company. That's what they said. They said they a tech company. That's why they do all that goofy shit, bring a pizza to you anywhere. Man, who am I, the Ninja Turtles? <laughs> what I need, a pizza brought to 42nd Street sewer? That's stupid. Domino's, man, come on, man. Domino's, I know y'all ain't a pizza company because I done tasted that shit. Y'all ain't even trying to make it pizza-like. I can tell, Domino's, you just know they didn't give a fuck when they made your shit. You could tell, like, they wasn't even listening to no music. They was just sad on the inside. There was no joy, nowhere near their heart. When all your pepperoni slide to one side, you ain't even put no cheese. You ain't even put no cheese to hold this bitch down. Hey, and I'm gonna let you hear on something else. 85 South Studios, them motherfuckers eat a lot of dominoes. They are the, oh my, hey man. Hey, man, I'm convinced Los got to own two Domino's franchise. Something, something's going on. There's no way possible you get... Ninja Turtles, they eat this much Domino's, man. Like, I'm big. Listen, man. They, am I... Am, okay, I'm making it up? Yeah, yeah. domino up. Out here. Remember they mascot, too? The little dude with the, the Noid? Y'all remember the Noid? That was a... It was a scary white man in a bunny cut. Put the Noid up. Put him somewhere, right? He's moving. He won't be still. Uh, <laughs> no, but yeah, that, that, that didn't help. That didn't help. Your mascot was, was creepy and scary. He was in a onesie, and he had a very strange white man face. But he was a rabbit. Go there. What, do with that what you will. What's this supposed to be? Oh, it looked like... <laughs> You go up here, you just do little subliminal messages and shit, huh? <laughs> you do little shit like that for yourself? <laughs> Let this man draw a dick on my board. It just... <laughs> I'm mad I didn't catch it till right now. <laughs> You're good at... Look at how good the other ones are. Look at what he... Look what... Come on, man. For real. <laughs> you didn't even try to make a for real hat. That's Arby's, uh, come on, man, Arby's. Roast beef sandwiches, I guess. <laughs> there was a point in time that had to be the hearty meal. A roast beef sandwich, it's just, it don't even sound right now, really, like. And then, then they got like crazy size cheese sticks and potato wedges and Jamocha shakes. Don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> Don't name your milkshake no ethnic shit. Like, that's, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> White people ain't ordering Jamocas. 
<laughs> you think they are? They were? No, I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Uh, Arby's, shout out to y'all, man. Y'all sandwiches, if, if, it depends. You got to know from different eras. Like, some of these places was actually decent at one point in the past, right? Taco Bell, Taco Bell used to be, it, it ain't make you shit as fast. <laughs> It'd be a little delayed, but it would, it would, you know, Taco Bell is, it need to be studied, man. Taco Bell, not, not because the meat has to be mixed, but because Taco Bell has a menu full of shit and they don't even have a lot of ingredients. Everything is the same shit. Meat, cheese, lettuce, tomato, sour cream costs extra. That make it supreme. Sour cream makes some shit supreme. <laughs> How bad is that shit if sour cream makes it supreme, bro? What makes it supreme? Sour cream. Oh, <laughs> shit. But it's all the same shit, just different textures. Gorditas. They fluffy. Chalupas, they bumpy. <laughs> hard tacos, they hard. <laughs> the soft ones, is, like, it's just different. All right, man. But now nah, they get it in. They got a full menu, and they ain't really got shit. Then we get to McDonald's, man. That's the, I guess that's the biggest one. That's the most popular one. They fell all the way off, man. McDonald's could kiss my ass. <laughs> Unless they doing some sponsorships, and I am so sorry. Please do not send Ronald to my door, man. <laughs> or that big bitch Grimace. Ah. <laughs> Any of them, send them little fry motherfuckers. I'm punting them to the moon. I'm not, lit. McDonald's, man, y'all used to have it. Y'all used to be that one. The fries was, was snap. And y'all got a lot of shit. Y'all cheat, too. Y'all think I don't know. Y'all got different coke than everybody else. They get different coke. They just get the, the pure syrup. They say, let us cut our coke ourselves. Yeah, you, you over there. See, man, this is when you find out. This is when we give out random drug tests. <laughs> we start seeing people perk up for different things. You ain't came out that hoodie all day as soon as I said something. <laughs> now, nah, McDonald's used to be that one, man. They They... The shake machines, you know, I heard there's only one company that's supposed to be able to work on the shake machine, and that's why they never work, because you got to pay extra for So they do a lot of little stuff, man, but McDonald's, man, hey, get back to what you use. Only thing I get from McDonald's, sausage egg McMuffin. That's it, I think. I'm not going at lunchtime. And that's, that's because I have to. That's because I need something to eat. I'm not getting up and driving to goddamn McDonald's for a sausage McMuffin. No, man. No. I could do better at the house. I'm going to get one of them Jimmy Deans that you just... <laughs> it's all the same shit. You eat all the processed shit. And they say, Burger King, I guess, man. I don't know. They shit always smell musty. The burger smelled like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's wrong with it? <laughs> Flame broiled. Well, let me see the grill. <laughs> let me see the grill, man. These lines don't look right. I got a flame broil at my house. It don't look like this. Then they had chicken fries. <laughs> Motherfuckers have stepped on chicken strips, bro. How can you strip it more than it's already stripped? These motherfuckers trip, stripped chicken strips. Burger King, crazy, man. I, hey, shout out to them when they used to have the long sandwiches. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the long, they had a long sandwich? A chicken sandwich? They had a BK broiler, too. That was some grilled chicken breast that was good than a bitch. Bring that shit back, man. Bring back real food, man. Stop trying to save a buck. Y'all have made money. At this point, all these corporations have made enough money. It's starting to start giving back a little bit. All right, that's, that's fast food, but, you know. And you a dumbass if you order 
Uber Eats or DoorDash, fast food. You either drunk or desperate. <laughs> that ain't no thing just to do sober-minded. You know what I'm saying? Where options and places are open. And you'd be like, man, I'm gonna get them to bring me some Mickey D's. For what? It's dead as soon as they get in the car, bro. As <laughs> soon as they fold that bitch over and slap that sticker on it, your food is dead. It's never gonna be the same at all. All right. That Uber Eats, too, man. That's too much, man. I, I don't know who need to who, hear this, but man, cook something. Get your ass in that kitchen. Uber Eats is ridiculous, bro. If my shit costs $60 to deliver, what I'm gonna leave the driver? He not getting nothing. I am so sorry. I thought you was getting your money from Uber. I just found out that Uber don't really take care of the Uber Eats people, so you gotta tip them. Motherfucker was mad at me. Brought the food and stayed outside. Say a little slick shit. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Boy, fuck you. You know how far I had to go to get it? No! <laughs> and he started talking to me. Uber don't, Uber don't be paying me. I said, it sounds like you need to be on the phone with them. What you want me to do, bro? Let's call them together. How about that? No, but I try to tip them now. I didn't, I didn't know that, though. I wasn't tipping great at first. So my rating is probably low than the bitch. There's a lot of food that didn't come. <laughs> There's a lot of times I ordered it. It never made it. And Uber is a motherfucker to get a refund. You try to get a refund from Uber? Boy, they, hey, call this number. These are letters. <laughs> what do you mean? Just call them like the letters on the phone. No, they're not the letters on the phone. They want you to decipher this shit. They're not giving nobody their money back. All these vegan people, I don't believe y'all. You're not helping the earth. You fucking the earth up. What you think? Just because you eat the vegetation, you helping the earth. You're not even eating the right vegetation. You knocking out shit to go plant some shit that you ain't even supposed to be eating like that. A soy farm, that fuck up the, 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 the shit. The ecosystem. Yeah. Look at what all they got to do to grow the soy. And just so your ass can sit up there and eat some shit, they turn into something kind of like some meat. All vegan food, they just take the vowels out. Just chicken. But it's C-H-K-N. Chicken. <laughs> That's what they do. Or they put soy on it. It's supposed to be sausage. Just sausage. <laughs> Soy ain't good for you either. They act like that's a good vegetable to have. It, it, what vegetable is it? Edamame's? Why them shits ain't come out to 2012? Ain't nobody know about no edamame's before 2012, man. If you would have said edamame to somebody, they'd have been like, nigga, to your mame too. <laughs> <laughs> you would have said edamame to somebody, they would have they would have said some shit back like Black Panther. He bought me! Soy ain't good. Y'all not real vegans? Y'all not real vegans? You not eating them old people vegetables? What happened to them? See, that's the problem. We don't look, that go with the losing recipes and you need to look back to the ancestors to see what your people was eating. All y'all want to look back was, oh, they was eating slave food because they was eating chitlin and they was eating ribs and hog moths and, and goddamn gizzards and all that. Yeah, because that's what they got. That's what was left over. It's not like that wasn't the first choice. But they tried to get a ham. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to get a ham, man. It didn't go well. You know what I'm saying? White people wasn't letting niggas get turkeys till the 1920s. That's what they said. If you got a turkey, you had to go get that bitch yourself and you had to keep it a secret. You ever had to eat a turkey sandwich in the dark? <laughs> I didn't think so. But y'all not eating them old vegetables for real. Think about the stuff people eat. They eating kale, cauliflower, all the, right? All these things. When the last time you heard somebody eat a rutabaga? 
Huh? Look at you. You don't even know what a rutabag is. Motherfuckers is confused. Trying to Google the shit. That's what your grandparents was eating. They wasn't just eating what? What? Two greens, collard greens, spit. No. There were so many greens. It was mustard greens, turnip greens, greens greens. Motherfuckers had lima beans, navy beans, pinto beans. What had, kidney beans? Come on, man. What? Just different body part beans, liver beans. Butter beans, I said, yeah, butter beans in that butt. Come on, man. What happened to them fat ass after church? String beans. The fat after church string beans. It tastes good. <laughs> I ain't talking about them little French cut shit you be. I'm talking about the fat ass ones that taste good with the meat in it. I ain't saying you got to put meat in it, but get some of them old vegetables. That's the problem. Y'all ain't eating them. Look, hold on. Let me see what else folks ate. When the last time you had a real pomegranate? Not no juice. See, you got to look at old people vegetables, man. Think about what they was eating, man. When the last time you ate an apricot? <laughs> you ain't had no apricot, have you? Yeah, that's why your stomach fucked up. Right now. Go get you an apricot. Eat that bitch. It's good. When the last time you had some beets? Yeah, not now beets. Nobody eat beets now. Beets make you think you fucked up on the inside, though. Beats had you fucked up. You go to take a shit and you see that red goddamn beat color. And you automatically assume the worst. I got Ebola. <laughs> my bloodstream coming out my ass. I don't know what's going on. Motherfucker think the worst. That dirty bitch got me. <laughs> <laughs> Dying on the inside. It's just the beats, though. Beet juice will do the same shit. Motherfuckers only drink the juice now. When the last time you had a nectarine? Yeah. Your bitch don't want to give you no head. Give her a nectarine. <laughs> it's got enzymes. They go coat her throat. I promise you, she going to be going. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all stupid for laughing about this, man. But I'm being real, man. We losing all the recipes. Ain't no more grandmas. We ain't got no more grandmas. The most we got is aunties. Everybody want to be an auntie now. And the young people put it, everybody an auntie. You know what I'm saying? If, if, you got, if you got any lines on your face, you an auntie. Or um, if you got any wear and tear, they not giving you no grace. They, they call the 27-year-olds auntie. And they ain't nobody auntie. And some of y'all grandmas, and y'all want to be aunties. Now, I'll be who you are. Sit your ass down, now. Go make one of them dishes that, that these young bitches don't know how to make and take them in the kitchen. Show them how to make some nana pudding. Show them how to make some of this shit, man. This is why we don't know no shit. That's why all we get is goddamn Alfredo. Bitch, you ain't Chef Boy RD, daughter. The fuck you doing with all these linguinis? Motherfuckers try to asparagus spear you to death. Alfredo. Shrimp Alfredo, salmon Alfredo, oxtail Alfredo. Bitch, that ain't supposed to happen. <laughs> <laughs> the mafia kick your ass, they see you putting. <laughs> hey, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, she put perfectly, it's a perfectly good linguine, but it's a sign now. <laughs> fucking eggplant threw a fucking oxtail on top of it. <laughs> we, hey, look, man, relax. That, and, and Jamaican people, we see y'all. Stop cutting the chicken up like that. <laughs> Stop cutting all the meat up like that. There's only one way to cut an oxtail. You didn't cut the shit the long way. How the fuck? How my oxtail ain't round? That's what I'm saying. Stop cutting the chicken up like that. Y'all know the way y'all could cut it up, like everybody else do. But you gave me a vertebrae. A vertebrae with no meat on it. And y'all macaroni and cheese ain't shit either. Just stop making it. Just stop. Put something else in that pan. 
put some more plantains in there so you keep having to go from the back and get some more. <laughs> the fuck you keep all the, who's stealing the plantains? Plantains is under lock and key at the Jamaican restaurant. I gotta go in the back and get some more plantain. <laughs> the bitch gotta fill out a tally sheet every time she grab a plantain. They count them at the end of the night. <laughs> Come on, man. Everybody eat, but like I said, we trying to eat healthy. I don't know, man. I look to the to the people that that do that. You know, the Dr. Sebi's and people like that. Alkaline, that's what we supposed to eat, right? Ain't that what they say? Yeah. Now everything alkaline. Once we say it, they put it on everything. It wasn't this many cocoa butter products on the market before. <laughs> Not everything got cocoa butter in it. Come on, man. We influence all type of shit, man. I just say eat fresh, eat. If, look, okay, this is my take on it. Groceries, they, they, they are high. They, grow, they high, but still, you probably better off cooking at the house. I put it like this. If you can cook it better than you can go out and get it, do that. It'll be cheaper. It'll, it's way better. What's foods I do that with? Let's see. A steak. I, no steak out is going to be as good as a steak I make at the house. Like, my steak going crazy off top. You, I'm just going to be disappointed. Even if you go to a nice steakhouse, for the most part, it ain't going to be that good. I ain't talking about the crazy shit where they do the extra shit and it's got sparklers. I'm talking about just a decent steakhouse, a Morton, a Ruth Chris, something like that, even a, even a chain. But... Yeah, it's not going to be that amazing. But at the house, come on, man. I'm finna season that bitch right. You ain't never had a lemon pepper steak. <laughs> try it. You can do it because it's cheaper if you get it at the house. That ain't no shit to try for $75. But for $75, you can probably get you about four of them steaks. And you can season one crazy as you fucking want to. You can deep fry that bitch. <laughs> That's a real country fried steak. Try that shit out and report to the hospital. Crab legs. I'm not going out to eat them either. That's too expensive. Take me to Costco. I'm finna get so many goddamn crab legs. Oh, yeah. This is gonna look like a cracking coming out the pot. <laughs> Boy, I'm trying to stuff them bitches in there. I'm getting so many, they coming, and it's gonna be, cuz I'm boiling, I'm not just doing the water and seasoning the water. I'm putting beer in there too. I'm gonna boil them in the beer with the seasoning. You got the little old bay, you know, the old bay necessary, you gotta do it. And you can do the other crab legs. Y'all, y'all just wanna be snowed up, snow crab legs. Does that mean they, they, they had to go to Alaska? That mean they had to put the crab legs on the plane. That mean they gonna cost a little bit more. Get you one of them Dungeness crabs. A blue crab. Get you a crab with little legs. Ain't nobody tell you to get a tall crab. That's how I gauge a bitch. This bitch ordering tall crabs. You ain't tall. That's for, that's for big people. Bitch, <laughs> get you some claws and shut up. That's why groceries. I think, ladies, stop asking to get taken out. If you're going to go out and you're going to try to run a dude's pockets up, just ask him for grocery money. He'll probably respect you more. And you can eat off that shit. He don't have to go to the grocery store with you. Don't nobody want to do that. That No. But just say you're hungry. If you're ordering something for now and something for later, I'm going to say, you know what? Let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm going to take you to Aldi's. <laughs> Aldi's, it got kind of what you want, but it ain't how you want it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the brand be off or the amount be off. You're like, damn, this is a good deal, but I don't need this much. <laughs> or then you'd be like, damn, they only got sample sizes? <laughs> I get four of them. Or then it's just some brand you ain't never heard of. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even recognize this kind of tuna. <laughs> There's no character I know on it. Like, shit got a character you ain't even know was supposed to be on tuna. What the fuck Pluto doing on here? 
Is this dog food? No, that's the Pluto tuna. <laughs> that's probably the only place you can still get Donald Duck orange juice. <laughs> you an old person. That's how you can gauge a person's age by their orange juice they drink. Donald Duck orange juice? They old as shit. <laughs> they old as shit. They remember seeing Donald Duck with, when, it, when that shit was new. <laughs> they remember when Donald first dropped. <laughs> you remember the first episode of Donald Duck? Nigga! The 30s? I don't know when he came out, but I'm sure it was racist. I'm serious, man. Any of them old ass orange juices? What they got? Sunny D? Bright and early? Y'all remember that? That was an old people staple. Bright and early? What y'all know about this shit? That five alive. It's five different juices. That shit had lime, orange juice, lemon, probably grapefruit, five alive. Yeah. Yeah, that shit was purely if you had a drug test. <laughs> you was trying to extract everything out your system, man. Office pot, look, I never was a fan of that. If they ever had an office pot, look, I'd be like, this company must not be doing well. You need us to bring food in? <laughs> Bitch, I done worked here all year. Y'all can't figure out to get some food? We must, <laughs> well, who fucking up? That's what I want to know. Office potluck. We can't eat what y'all eat. We don't even know what's your house like. If you do a potluck, we need a questionnaire. Do you got pets? Do they sleep in the bed with you? Where they at when you was cooking? I just seen that shit on TikTok, white people. Y'all out of pocket. Let the cat walk across the counter. Why you making a pie? I'm good, man. Unless that's cat food you making, I don't see why he your sous chef. <laughs> Is this a ratatouille situation? He got the recipe. No, you gonna have to get some more cherry filling in there, baby. That's, hey, look, black people, we don't play that because we'll imagine what's going on at your house and see it in our mind. And it can't show up in the food because you can't always be sure what food is. Everybody that heard the story about, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah. You put almonds in here and it's like, no, it ain't no almond. That crunch, that, that ain't, that ain't no, that's a thorax. You just, <laughs> you just bit down on a goddamn exoskeleton. That's scary. Used to be cereals you wouldn't get. Because you knew it attract roaches. So where you put it? In the refrigerator. Like roaches can't be cold. <laughs> Has the refrigerator ever stopped roaches? No. Do they freeze in the winter? No. <laughs> It's probably warmer in your fridge than it is outside, man. That's crazy. Now everybody gonna throw their shit away at the house. I knew them roaches were getting in the yeah. yeah. If you got roaches, you, you know what it is. That's, that's your own problem. Maybe not. Maybe you clean, but your neighbors got, if you got little roaches, that's your fault. We all know that, right? Little roaches, big roaches, you, you can let that slide. How big though? At what point? At what point do we stop? If we pick the baby up and fly off with the baby, like, at what point? That's the outside roach. We'll go outside and get the baby. We give a fuck if it's an outside roach. Roaches should not be lizard size, man. Anything that is mammal size, it, at a certain point, you're supposed to have fur. <laughs> like, some shit, at, at a certain point, crawling around, you're supposed to, <laughs> you're supposed to be a mammal or a marsupial. <laughs> it's no way. We back to food. How we even get here, man? Yeah. Did we hit everything? Is there anything we left out? On the board? Come on, man. Shout out to the goddamn board. Let's go. We 
locked in, man. English majors, back here at the headquarters. You know what it is, man. We going through the rundown, man. We going through everything we just seen since we've been scrolling down, man. Especially, everybody eats, man. Everybody got to eat. This is what we talking about. This is the topic for the day, man. You know, the, the number one debate I see going on with people, a lot of people, is just grits. What go on it? Sugar versus salt. I don't know. I don't know. The way I was raised, my family, you know, I'm from, my family originally from Florida, so fish and grits is a thing that we do. And it ain't no, it ain't no sweet grits that go with the fish. The fish ain't sweet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, and my, and my grandpa, I remember my grandma used to say stuff. She made sure I ate my grits. And she'd give me some more if I ate it. I ain't want no more. I only ate it because I didn't want to have to eat no more. But when you eat it, she gives you some more. Get some more grits. So you full, so it stick to your ribs. Well, that's not good. <laughs> I don't know how much goddamn grits I done got left over on my goddamn ribs. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to go to the hospital with, with breathing problems, Mr. English. Looks like there's some leftover grits stuck to your ribs. Fuck. <laughs> No wonder it hurts when I inhale. That's, listen, grits, salt, pepper, cheese grits, various cheeses. You can add a little cream in there, whip it. The, 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 the five minute grits, you don't cook them for five minutes. We know this. You gotta cook them like the old grits. They the instant grits, they the quick grits. But that ain't, you don't wanna eat them when they quick. It ain't gonna be right. They gonna be lumped up. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be what you, what you going after. So, and you gotta work that wrist like you, you trying to flip a brick. You know what I'm saying? You gotta put your elbow in. It. You understand? You gotta make that shit jump. Kermit the Frog, dog. You gotta be in that bitch, Chef or RG. But hold that thought. Listen, sugar grits, people. Um, I assume y'all pussy. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't know how to really say it. I mean, I don't want nobody to take offense to that, but that's just, if we're being real, sometimes I say the first thing that comes to mind, and that's, that's, I don't know. I don't see how you eat sweet in the morning. Like, you wake up, and the first thing is, I want something sweet. That's... <laughs> yeah. It's different than how I was brought up. <laughs> Because I was brought up, I need to eat for the day. Your grandma don't know if you're going to eat again, so you got to get something to stick to your ribs. <laughs> Y'all more concerned with <laughs> glue clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got syrup grit people. There's people that put syrup in grit. If I, am I, come on, man. See, somebody should have told y'all, man. Y'all <laughs> supposed to be eating cream of wheat. Or maybe you live in a fairy tale. Maybe you're supposed to be eating curds and whey. Perhaps you like a nice bowl of porridge. But don't put no sugar on no damn grits, man. And I get it. Is, is that a Midwest thing? Or that's just the we nasty over here thing? <laughs> we nasty over here. I got a question for the sugar grit people. I don't, is there any in here? Nobody? All right. Sugar grit people. You put the sugar in the grits after it's on your plate, right? That lets you know wasn't supposed to be no goddamn sugar in the grits. <laughs> if it was supposed to be sugar in the grits, they'd be in the grits when they made the goddamn grits. <laughs> that means whoever made the grits and is condoning you putting sugar in the grits, no, that ain't how this shit's supposed to happen. But they let you run amok. <laughs> That's the goddamn problem we got now. Everybody want to do what they want to do. That ain't what you're supposed to be doing. But you're doing it anyway. Sugar don't go in grits. That, that's my take on it, man. I hope nobody's offended. But if you are, I mean, you pussy anyway. You put sugar in your grits. <laughs> it's a wrap. All right. Look, man. Uh, every time I'm on the timeline, I see some new recipe. Try this, try doing it. Stop, man. 
Shout out to the one dude that be giving away all the all the recipe. What's his name? Jordan or something? That, that yeah, he he called because he he give away company secrets. They gonna come get you, my boy. <laughs> I hope you strapped, man. I hope you strapped because you giving away they proprietary secrets. I ain't seen him give away that Colonel Sanders shit. He give away that Colonel Sanders shit. They on his ass. Eleven herbs and spices. We talked about this. That's how you know he stole the recipe. What white man know 11 herbs? <laughs> Let alone finna use them. It, it wasn't for food. A white man will know 11 herbs, but it won't be for food. This is a topical ointment. <laughs> if you spread lemongrass on your neck, it prevents mosquito bites. That's what you're doing with your herb. White people don't even be using salt. Be using salt for everything but food. Put the shit in ice cream. Put the shit on the snow, on the ground. Throw it over their shoulder, make a wish. Bitch, put it in the goddamn meat. It's good luck to throw it over your shoulder. It's good taste to put it in the motherfucking plate. I decided to make it spicy. They put pepper on the shit. <laughs> Bitch, that ain't what it is, man. Pepper is to show you tried to do something. Pepper is more for <laughs> pictures. <laughs> oh, man. What's all, I, I don't, hey. Shit we used to think was good just, just ain't good. The food pyramid, throw that shit out the window. Whoever came up with that. Remember when sandwich was a safe, that was good, that was healthy. Remember in school, they'd be like, why don't you have something healthy, like a sandwich? <laughs> this was healthy? We was eating fat ass. Subway sandwiches used to be fat. They was some big ass sandwich. That meat started getting, because they used to pile up. Now it just lay flat. The meat used to be, remember the meat used to be, it used to be scooby doo up. It used to be, Cartoon sandwich status. <laughs> yeah, it used to be car. It, it, bro, now that meat is, but it's laid back with my mind on my money and my money on my mind. <laughs> Ask him to show you your meat after <laughs> the, whoa. I told y'all to stop playing. <laughs> I told y'all to stop playing. We don't have to pause. <laughs> If you stop playing. <laughs> nah, but go to Subway. After they make your sandwich, say, show me the meat again. Watch all the shit they got to move out the way. <laughs> you can't see the meat sideways no more. See, that's another one. See, get your mind out the gutter. Oh, y'all stupid, man. Remember Blimpy? Blimpy, yeah. Subway ran them out of business. Subway ran everybody out of business. Now they about to go out of business. <laughs> they picked the wrong spokesperson, didn't they? Oh. <laughs> Fat man got little, but damn, he got a little too little, didn't he? <laughs> the hell? You should have knew something was wrong. He eats Subway every day. You ain't normal. I lost the weight by eating Subway every day. No, you was probably got there walking past the school. Back and forth, goddamn pervert. Walk them calories off. Being a goddamn creep. Fuck him. What was his name? We ain't gonna say his name. Fuck him. They might be fucking him. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker got to jail. The motherfucker came to him and said, I liked you when you was thick. <laughs> Hey, don't say that, see? See, nobody pause it. You heard what he said? <laughs> he said, I heard you like foot long. See, that's just that. What make you think something like that, bro? You over there, like, I would, hey, man. You never know who you work with. You never know. Oh, man. I'm not doing this with y'all. We got, let's see, I did, we did? Yeah, man. Remember stuff? I don't know. These things, just propaganda, man. Milk, 
Does body good, remember? Remember you, you remember you you drank milk and you get a bad bitch. <laughs> That's what the commercial had happened. Yeah. You remember the milk commercial? And buddy was like, he tried to talk to the supermodel. He's like, right now, I may not be, <laughs> I may not be much, but I'm drinking milk. And in a few, and then he turned into a, and then he turned into like a grown man. And then, and then the lady be like, oh, like, bro, it is not gonna do that. You gonna be, you gonna have a fucked up stomach round the bitches, bro. <laughs> You think smelling like milk is the wave? No, bro, you are, oh, come on, what are you, a kitten? Why are you drinking milk like that? They tried to put it on us, tell us it was good. You need to put cereal in milk. That's what they said, right? And then what they said, this part of a complete breakfast. Ain't nobody hear that part. We thought it was a complete breakfast. But if you look at the commercial, part of a complete breakfast, man, you need to also eat some bacon and eggs. <laughs> Pancakes, toast, or apple, and some yogurt. And that was a lie. Because breakfast wasn't even real how they tried to make it seem. You ain't supposed to be eating all that in the morning. Come on, man. Use your brain. Bacon, eggs, French toast, orange juice, coffee, and then you go into somebody's job. <laughs> Everybody should have their own bathroom. You drink coffee, then you go drink more coffee at work. No, you was never supposed to eat all that, man. Especially a country breakfast. We talked about this before. We know country breakfast for country people. They live in the country. They got to get up, do farm stuff. Go get them chickens, get the cows, whatever else they got. They need country ham with the bone in it. They been up since four. They not eating breakfast till about 10. That's a full day's worth of work. You need dinner for breakfast. <laughs> Cause you still got more shit to do. You gotta replenish yourself. That's where steak and eggs come from. It ain't for your ass. Bitch, you a com computer programmer. <laughs> I'm starting my day with steak and eggs. Bitch, you ain't a lumberjack. That's what's wrong with you trying to eat a big country breakfast and go do something. You going to sleep, eat a Denver omelet, and then go on about your day. And you ain't got no real job, no. Physical labor, you, you, you deserve a country breakfast. Earn you a country breakfast. Or eat that shit for dinner <laughs> when it actually makes sense. <laughs> when you need it. What y'all do? Y'all remember when y'all used to have to take the chicken out the freezer? Come on, man. You should have just did it, right? It would make sense just to go do it. But I, I don't. I want to say it was the phone, but it wasn't because we had cordless phones after a while. You know what I'm saying? But you was doing something else that just made you say, "Fuck that chicken." And also, I think your mama called so late that the chicken wasn't gonna be thawed anyway. So it was an excuse to put it on you. I remember one time my, my mom was like, take the chicken. I was like, it ain't gonna be thawed by the time you get here. <laughs> you might as well pick something up. <laughs> she whooped my ass when she got home. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I said that or I didn't take the chicken out. I don't know <laughs> what was the reason, but she definitely did. Y'all spaghetti outside the sauce, spaghetti in the sauce. There's people in there, spaghetti in the sauce, yeah. Y'all had a lot of siblings? Yeah, that was something y'all had to do. <laughs> we gotta stretch this out, man. If you doing separate sauce, oh yeah, y'all balling. <laughs> y'all balling, everybody eating good. Separate, when it's sauce in there, boy, hey, you can't even look for the meat. You just gotta get you a scoop, and what you get is what you get. <laughs> it ain't no going to get, it ain't no meatball, baby. It's meat pieces. <laughs> Ain't no meatball. No. That spaghetti together? What about the little bullshit spaghetti with the hot dogs? Y'all had that? When you ain't got shit but sauce and hot dogs and noodles 
and throw some slices of cheese on top of that bitch and bake that bitch together. Pull that bitch out. I'm trying to tell you. You know, you, you know times is hard. Sometimes you can tell by what you're eating. Yeah. Any, any, tuna, anytime, tuna. <laughs> is it for dinner? <laughs> Try to dress it up, put it on a piece of lettuce or something. No. <laughs> no. We eating tuna for dinner? No. All oh, them old people hit you with something you ain't even know you get. You, corned beef hash for dinner? Breakfast for dinner also lets you know that y'all ain't doing the best. It's fun at first. At first, it's cool. Oh, we having breakfast for dinner, yeah. It didn't make sense, but three days in a row, breakfast for dinner, you got to go to your mama and be like, did you lose your child? <laughs> <laughs> Something's going on. <laughs> Scrambled eggs again? Yeah. Man, hey. We out. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me see. All right. Hey, that, that's it, man. Everybody eats. Black people, you know we eat different, man. Come on, man. I don't know who need to hear this, but ginger ale still soda, too. It's soda unless you're getting the ginger ale that burnt, like Red Rock. What's the Midwest one? Verner's. That's real ginger ale. The ginger ale that burn your nostrils, it make your eyes water a little bit. You can hear it bubbling up. If it bubble up, that means it's disinfecting. <laughs> there was something wrong with you. You might have had strep throat, but you goddamn hit that goddamn... That red rock or that Verner's or what or ginger beer. Ginger beer is what you, if you, if you can't get ginger ale, get you the ginger beer. If that's real. Everything else is soda. I'm sorry. Was the Canada dry? Yeah, that shit dried in the bitch. Fuck Canada known for. I don't trust y'all to make ginger ale. Ain't got enough black people in Canada to know what we look for in our ginger ale. <laughs> Hell no. Canadian whiskey. That's about all we want from y'all. What happened to Crown Royal? Used to be your granddaddy drink. You get a little bag with it. A little bag might hold anything. Granddaddy Will might be in that goddamn bag. My granddaddy had bags of bullets in Crown Royal bag. I said, oh, shit. He get drunk and get ready to go shoot some shit up. That's real shit, man. All right, man. And just that quick, I, th I think we all learned something. What did we learn? Take that chicken out the goddamn freezer. <laughs> or your mama beat your ass. And boy, if you, if, if you, if you put sugar on your grits, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. It's summertime, man. You, you, I hope you're feeling like a winner, man. If you're not feeling like a winner, it might be because you're not on prize picks, man. Look, you got the MMA, PGA, MLB, WNBA, and you might even get in on the little slap boxing, you know what I'm saying, the ultimate slap. You know what I'm saying? Each day there's a chance for you to add more money to the bank. Go ahead, put your entries in. Put your initial deposit in. Prize picks is going to match it up to $100, man. All you got to do is register, deposit, and select more or less on two to six player stats like points, assists, rebounds, Whatever, potentially win up to 25 times your entry. And if it's your first time, like I said, they're going to match your initial deposit up to $100. It's available in over 30 states, man. Head to Prize Picks now and use promo code ENGLISHMAJOR. And tell them I sent you. So go right now. Download Prize Picks today and your daily fantasy sports experience begins, man. Prize Picks, daily fantasy made easy. It's office hours. English majors live at the headquarters. It's office hours. This is when you get in your questions. You get your... I ain't going to guarantee your answer. The best I can give you is some advice. You know what I'm saying? Because I give you the answer, you say I gave you the answer, and then you do it and it was the wrong answer. It's like when your parents help you with your homework. All right? They don't know that shit no more. You on your own, baby. Figure it out. But I can give you some advice. So here we are, right here, man. Office hours. Let's start it off. Let's crack it up. Who... Who, who computer is this? 
Oh, okay. I'm just saying, it's asking about hot milfs in the area. <laughs> said they said they want to meet you. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't do nothing. I want you to know that. I came on, I just, I just, it jumped up. Here it is. All right. <laughs> Let me get to the questions, man. I told you, office hours. Hit us however you can, man. Hit us in the comments. Hit us in the email. Send a DM. Send an actual letter. Call up here. Uh, FaceTime us. Zoom us. We be on Clubhouse. <laughs> however you want to do it, man. You know what I'm saying? Send a kite from jail. I don't know. <laughs> we taking all questions, and I'm giving all advice. So let's go. All right. Hi, Clayton. I just graduated college, and I'm living on my own for the first time. Do you have any suggestions on easy meals to whip up? And this is a Steve from the Loop, St. Louis. Steve, um, get your ass on the internet, man. I ain't Martha. Look up recipes, man. It ain't hard. What you trying to do? Get, look, get you some shit you can make in one pan. Become the motherfucking one pan man. The less dishes you got to do, the better it's going to serve you, the easier it's going to be to keep your house clean, because I know you're a little nasty motherfucker, because you just <laughs> got out there on your own. You know what I'm saying? I know I was there, too, with the dark-ass sheets, so you can't see the stains, because you're not changing them that frequently. Yeah, yeah. I've been there, futon boy. Yeah. You a futon foot soldier, my boy. I know what you're doing. You want a one pan it, man. One pan, man. That's what you want to be. Ain't nothing wrong. Hey, don't be ashamed of Hamburger Helper. Hamburger Helper, anything that you can make in that vein like that. Now, if you want to get into some other, you know what I'm saying, shit, it's easy stuff to make. Look up a simple recipe. Always goddamn remember this. Taste the shit before you do it. If you're putting various seasonings, don't taste, don't taste the meat while it's raw. All right, and, and unless you put sugar on your grits, then <laughs> I'm sure you'll be all right. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be all right. But no, uh, yeah, man, taste your seasoning. Put it in your hand with the different flavor. Nah, nah, do that. Learn how to learn how to do stuff. Spaghetti, easy. Any pasta, uh, any Italian. Sh what were you talking about? The Italians hate us. <laughs> Because of how we fucking they shit up. <laughs> but they just gonna have to deal with it. Look at this fucking guy. This motherfucker put the sauce in the spaghetti. What kind of shit is this? It's supposed to be separate. This fucking guy. No. <laughs> oh, let me guess. You're gonna put sugar in that too, huh? <laughs> hey, oh! <laughs> Ah! <laughs> ah, what we having over here? Hog Maw Riccadoni? Ah. <laughs> Stop, man. Listen. Easy stuff. That's easy. What else, man? Make it easy on yourself. Make it easy on yourself. You ain't gonna wanna do all that cooking. And yeah, processed food ain't the best way to go. Grab you some of them pot pies. Marie Callender, she that bitch. Marie Callender, hey, hey. You ain't gotta do too much to Marie to spruce it up. Marie Callender, she, she hey. Yeah. Marie Callender people, holler at us. Y'all need some commercials, man. We gonna have a commercial. We gonna use Glow Rilla music. Yeah, Glow. Motherfuckers eating pie pie. <laughs> eating pie pie before bed, ho. Yeah, Glow. Yeah, that shit gonna be, that shit gonna go. That shit good. It go, you gotta look at what shit go together. So just, yeah, man, make, make it simple for yourself. Anything that you can whip up quick. And then, of course, breakfast gonna be your best friend. Learn how to goddamn whip up some eggs, man. 
Throw a little milk in them eggs, whatever kind of little whipping cream. Make them fluffy. Learn how to fold the egg. That's that start. Listen, man. Eggs is and cooking eggs is the dope that you can fuck up. Do you understand? You ain't ain't nobody gonna be on your ass. Like you're not gonna be mad about fucking up a few eggs. But you fuck up $48 worth of scallops. <laughs> Oh, you fuck up a T-bone, you gonna be a little mad, bro. So let the eggs be the thing. Learn how to make them a few different ways. Learn how to make an omelet. Learn how to flip them bitches. Learn how to make them a goddamn fried egg. Learn how to, yeah, learn how to fold that bitch. Yeah, different shit. I hope that helps you. I don't want you to starve. And you gonna be broke trying to eat college shit every day. Before trying to eat Zaxby's every day. That ain't gonna work. Oh, and then, oh, yeah. Oh, wait a second. No, that ain't what they said. Okay, this is another question. Separate question. Okay, here we go. Okay, so Clayton, my mom is the leftover queen. This might be, this might be my brother. I don't know who this is. <laughs> I, I be trying to tell her that leftovers are cool for at least a couple of days, but she drags it mad long. How long you think we should be keeping leftovers? Um, first of all, leftovers, that's, that's what people, that's meal prep now for people, right? That's just making some shit. And, then, and my mom used to do a thing, she made two things, probably on Sunday, and that's what you could eat throughout the week. One of the two, mix them up, However you fucking want to. Eat one, don't eat the other. It don't matter, but this is what's going to be here. And if you want anything else other than these things, that's on you. So I, I get it, but, you know, and it also depends on what your money like. If your money fucked up, you eat them bitches till they gone. You eat that shit till you bite your goddamn fingers. Now, if you got it like that, now nah, I get it. The leftovers be a little long. Also, learn to remix the leftovers. Learn to remix the leftovers. Come on, man. You don't have to have it the same way. Put that bitch in the roll, call it a po' boy. <laughs> Toast that bitch up. Toast the bread up, call it a po' boy. It don't matter what it is. Put it in there. You can make a po' boy out of anything. You know why? Because you po' boy. You know that. <laughs> That's why they call it that. Them shits ain't cheap at a restaurant now. They not poor no more. But yeah, I say, you know, figure out how to freak the leftovers. That's mainly what Chinese food is, right? It's leftover. Fried rice is leftover rice. You can't make fried rice with new rice. Did y'all know that? Y'all know that? You can't, you can't make fried rice with new rice. Fried rice gotta be made with old rice. If you make fried rice with new rice, that's a bachi. That's a bachi. You need a whole different setup. You try to make fried rice with new rice in a regular kitchen, you finna blow the fuck up, man. You gonna burn that bitch down. Ain't that what they own? Everybody love a bachi now. This rice. It's rice, bro. It's rice with meat that ain't even prepared the best. I watched this nigga focus more on making a volcano <laughs> than he did paying attention to my shrimp. But y'all go ahead, man. Enjoy, enjoy what you got. I knew the shit was tripping when I seen them selling hibachi outside the club at a food truck. I got some too. It was not good. What did I expect? I wasn't even mad with myself. I ate it all too. I said, this is my punishment for trying to help us out. But we doing shit ain't no goddamn business doing. Nah, but leftovers, remix them, baby. Yeah, flip them out and just, uh, yeah. That's all I can tell you. Don't, don't, don't be too harsh on moms. You know, I'm sure she's doing the best she can. Some moms ain't cooking shit. Some moms, hey, it's up to you. 
You don't want one of them find something in there, mama. You better find something in there. If I got to find it, that shit ain't in here. Find something? <laughs> Anybody out there, you ever found something to eat? What's the, what's, the, what's the shit you done made out of nothing? One meal you made out of nothing. I'm talking about wasn't nothing in there, but you still ate something and you was good and you shut the fuck up. Nobody? Comments. Y'all go crazy too. Please drop it. Piece of bread, turkey pepperoni, pack of barbecue sauce, String cheese. Made little pizzas. Put them bitches in the oven. They were slapping. Me and my little brother was home one day, wasn't shit, really. Like, we had to wait for my mom to come home for it to really be something. And, and I put that shit together. That shit was so fucking good. Shit became a new recipe in the house easily. But that was easy. That was like something you could actually see. Sometimes you got to work with nothing. Like, you got to start from... Put that grape jelly. <laughs> Mix it with that sour cream. <laughs> nah. That's it. I think we got... Uh, do we got any more questions for people? Hi, Clayton. Can you settle this argument between me and my older brother? Which one is better, the air fryer or the George Foreman grill? Thanks, Gina from Charlotte. Ooh, Gina. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's a, that's a good one. Because that Foreman grill, that had us in the yoke for a minute. And it was cheap. That Foreman grill, I think Foreman, I ain't going to put it on him. But them grills. They burn up a lot of kitchens, like. Because <laughs> you used it reckless, bro. Some of y'all never clean your foreman grill. Try to treat it like a cast iron skillet, let it get seasoned. You a nasty motherfucker, bro. All you really had to do to clean that bitch was get it hot and throw some water on it. Scrape that shit off, but you got to do it then when it's fresh. You can't wait till it's caked up, so. Oh man, the Foreman grill, but see, the Foreman grill was different too. Like, I don't know. Maybe you can make a panini in the air fryer, but you ain't gonna get that Foreman grill ripples. <laughs> that Foreman grill gonna ripple your meat up, man. Don't don't do that. If you stop playing, we don't have to pause. <laughs> If you stop playing, we don't have to pause, bruh. You know what I'm talking about. The Foreman grill got rippled. So y'all wasn't cooking meat on the Foreman grill? Come on, man. <laughs> uh, y'all wasn't cooking meat on the Foreman. Jada Kid said he was the first rapper to cook bass on the Foreman grill. Bro, you was capping. Hey, no way! <laughs> What'd you put it in? What jar stayed on a form? A form first of all, a form and grill. <laughs> it sloped. It sloped so the juice run off. They show you that on the commercial. George Foreman told me that his goddamn self. And as you can see, the slanted patented design makes it so all the juices run off into the patented George Foreman juice catching tray. I said, God damn, George, you done figured this all out, haven't you? I got to get me one. My grandma got me one before I could get me one. <laughs> Grandmas made sure you had one. Whenever they come out with some new heat, a new way to cook something, your grandma gonna have one now. It took them a little while to get on that microwave. They couldn't get past radiation. <laughs> no, I don't want none of that on my food. Versus the air fryer. Ooh, y'all don't clean that bitch either. Bust some suds in that bitch, man. 
Fill that little bucket up. It's a bucket. It's, you cooking shit in a hot bucket. <laughs> it's a hot bucket that you cook some shit in. I, it's cool. It's, I be using the fuck out mine. Is it better? No, it's just. What is it? It's faster for some shit. I give you that. On some frozen shit, that shit work way faster. I'll give you that. But it's, it ain't no big deal. Like, it ain't air that's cooking the shit. I think that's where they getting people. It's an air fryer. It's not frying everything. It don't really fry shit. The oven get hot in there, right? It get hot in the microwave, but the microwave work by heating up the shit inside of whatever the fuck it is. The microwave heat up the water inside of whatever the fuck you cook. That's why the microwave don't work on ice. Did y'all know that? I don't know that either, but. <laughs> I just did the math in my head, bro. Come on, man. It made sense. You can't move the molecules if they solid. <laughs> They packed together. They too close. All right, so. See? But the air fryer got a, the air fryer, I think, just because of the versatility. You can only do so much on the foreman. Now, I believe Jada Kiss could cook dope <laughs> in an air fryer. If he says that in a rhyme, I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> That's possible. They have big ones, too. He could. <laughs> so, yeah. What, what's the old girl's name? Where's she from, Charlotte? I'm going to give it an air fryer, man. But that, but that Foreman grill, that, that was something for the time, man. It was a hot plate. Two hot plates to come together. You ain't know that? You ain't never cooked with it open. You ain't know you could do that. You can leave it open. You ain't have to close it. You just had to flip the meat. <laughs> Stop fucking playing, man. I'm going to say it again, man. If you stop playing, there's no reason to pause, all right? But y'all stupid. That was a good one. That was a good goddamn, you know. Little, little question, I think. Do other people use this shit? White people using the air fryer? What they using it for? To make jerky? <laughs> they dehydrating shit. I know, that's what... <laughs> I put my strawberries in there and... <laughs> you can freeze dry with an air fryer? That's crazy. What's gonna be the next thing? Can't get no better. A two-story air fryer. It's gonna have two draws. <laughs> Cook your vegetables at one and <laughs> your meat in the other. It exists? They got two draws, air fryers? I'm going to get one today. I'm on their ass. I ain't seen that even on the internet. I'm going straight to TikTok. It's a ninja. That's racist. Isn't it? How come you can name some shit certain shit? Ain't no Mandingo air fryer. <laughs> Shaka Zulu grill. They might have it. You think so? I don't know, man. Shout out to Master P, man. Snoop Dogg. Lil Boosie. Who else got some food? E-40. All, all the entertainers. That, shout out Tabitha Brown. Bun B. Trill Brown. Why? Why you laugh when I say Tabitha? She can't go with the rappers? I'm not saying she a rapper. I'm saying black people. It's a pinky cold. Come on, man. Uncle Ben. The Zatarans man. 
The man playing the trumpet. <laughs> uh, who else? Aunt Jemima, then she gone. She, it's the Pearl Milling Company now. Miss Butter, you think she black? I try. I, I never. I wouldn't ever. Yeah. I just remember that's, that's. Yeah, I know. But then they changed it and gave her the perm. Before they got rid of her. Now it's the Pearl Milling Company. And that really sounds like a black woman name. <laughs> Pearl Milling? <laughs> I don't know what's worse. Aunt Jemima might be, they might be equal. I heard, I heard Aunt Jemima got the name because she had to take care of the white children and they was calling her mama so much that she said, I ain't your mama. <laughs> and they started calling her, I ain't your mama. Y'all don't know this? <laughs> Y'all do know back in the day they used to take care of the white children, man. And they got so used to her being around, they started calling and she said, I ain't your mama. And it was like, I guess that's Aunt Jemima, huh? <laughs> you have to. <laughs> her parents ain't know who the fuck they was talking about. They thought they had an imaginary friend. Aunt Jemima took us to the store today. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Bessie, did you take them down? <laughs> they don't know her real name. <laughs> Y'all ain't shit. <laughs> Google it. Look it up. If it's wrong, I'm wrong. Shit, I'm telling y'all. Y'all stupid. Y'all never... All right. Let me get the fuck out of here. I think that's it, man. We gave some questions. Uh, we took some questions. We we gave advice. Um, I hope I hope it figured. I hope y'all figured it out. I hope y'all doing well out there. Um, you know, mental health is important. Talk to somebody about it, not me, because I got my own shit, and I'm gonna think it's a competition. <laughs> oh, you ain't got problems like I got. No, look, you got your problems, and that's a blessing in itself, man. If you got problems, that means that you working towards whatever the fuck you supposed to be working towards. If this shit easy, start worrying. You know what it is, man. English majors, live from the headquarters. Make sure y'all come back. Shout out to everybody. Go get the English major merch. Go get you some 85 South merch. Yeah, it's this, this for ladies, too. See? Yeah, we out of here. Let's go.